A very good afternoon. This is the interview segment right here on TBC Radio 88.5, your breath of change, your inside afternoon rendezvous. And today we have a special guest inside studio today. She's no other than Karen Ennis. First of all, Karen, tell us who is Karen Ennis? Karen Ennis is a person who loves the Lord with all her heart, all her soul and all her mind. I put God at the forefront of my life because I believe that without God, nothing is possible. Because with Him, all things are possible. My motto in life is, inspiration without perspiration is only a daydream. That means that everything that I want, everything that I dream of, I know I have to work hard for it and I will continue working hard for it. And I believe that with the working, God will just bring the manifestation. Right, I agree. Tell us, when did you start singing? I started singing at the age of eight at the Boulevard Church of the Nazarene. And then I continued in high school and in 2003, I entered the JCDC gospel competition where I was placed third. Tell us about your first album. What was it like? Well, the first album, God is by our side, is a blessing to me because God has used it to open a lot of doors. He has taken me to Japan on that album, you know, Europe, US and the Caribbean. So I have to be grateful for what God has done through that album and it has been blessing the lives of many all over the world. Talk to us about some of the artists that you worked with. On the first album? On the first album. Well, I collabed with DJ Nicholas, Mm -hmm. Luton and Stitchy. Nice. How effective is your ministry? Wow. Well, I leave that to, you know, persons to see that. Mm-hmm. I don't really judge my ministry. All right. I try to do is be prepared with the word and to be prepared in the presence of the Lord and to just carry his glory wherever I'm going. And based off that, I leave people to judge that. I, I don't really know how to say how effective it is because effective is based on how you see yourself. And right. how I see myself is I'm always in the word and I'm right. always dependent on the Holy Spirit to lead That's me. good. So, Karen, where does your inspiration come from? My inspiration first came from, you know, watching all these old-time singers, Mahalia mm-hmm. Jackson and, and all, you know, these big top-of-the-line right, singers right. in the U.S. And then, you know, Chevelle Franklin, I started seeing her, you know, when she got saved and, you know, how the Lord was using her. And I was also inspired by a lot of testimonies in mm-hmm. the Bible, you know, how David made it. You know, right, God wasn't right. looking on his stature. He wasn't mm-hmm. looking on who he was. He was looking on his heart. He was looking on, you know, who was able for him to use mm-hmm. in battle. All these things combined together, you know, has been my inspiration for ministry so i know your album launches on the 26th tell us about your album well this album was birthed from my experience i believe that i went through a preparation for ministry you know the wilderness experience the on the shelf experience the loneliness the accident experience where i almost lost my life so you know all of that has been the birth of this album I'm alive and, you know, I'm just looking forward for people to be blessed by it. Tell us about the name of the album. I'm alive. Uh, I was in a major car accident in 2008 and I almost lost my life in that accident. I can remember it clearly, you know, how my mouth just ripped and I had to get stitches in it and my hands and my feet. And and I looked at it and I said, Lord, I never had a broken bone. I never, you know, I could have been dead, but you spared my life for one more day, one more year. I saw myself being wheeled in the hospital in a wheelchair, spending the night in the hospital. And I have to give God thanks because, you know, a lot of persons have been through the same type of accident and they haven't come out of it. So I'm Alive is just basically my testimony of what God has brought me through. The reason why I'm here. The reason why, you know, I can sing again, I can move again, and I can breathe again. Right, Karen. So tell us, how do you prepare for ministry? Well, preparation for ministry begins with, you know, seeking the help of the Holy Spirit and Mm -hmm. reading the Word. I love the Word. I believe the Word is food. I believe that, Mm -hmm. you know, you can never minister unless you have the Word inside of you. Because the Bible said that it is the Word that springs out. It is the Word that, you know, um, brings life. And I also believe that with the help of the Holy Spirit, you know, He is able to convict hearts, convict souls, convict minds. So preparation for ministry is basically seeking the Holy Spirit and just eating up the Word of God. Great. So what's your memorable moment on stage? Wow, my most memorable moment is singing with DJ Nicholas at a Mm -hmm. fun in the sun. You know, I remember, you know, how we just was like a team just up there and the young people, they were just all into, you know, daddy and that's one of my most memorable experiences. What's your most embarrassing moment? 
Oh Lord, <laughs> <laughs> I I really don't remember because I don't dwell on that. Mm-hmm. Because if I should say the most embarrassing moment, I would have a lot. Nice. <laughs> you know. Nice. Have you ever forgotten a line of your song? Oh Lord, all the time. Nice. Um, I think for ministers, one of the things that we struggle with is always remembering the lyrics of our songs. Right. There, if you interview any minister, they'll say, oh Lord, right. I'm going on stage now and I can't remember the word of this song. Right. But that's where the Holy Spirit helps us, you know. And the good thing is when you write the lyrics, you can always replace it. You can always, right. you know, make it look as if you remember what you're singing. So that's the good thing. And there's a song on the album that I like so much, Rock of Ages. Talk to me about that. Rock of Ages, oh Lord. When, when when the album was being put together by my husband and I, I remember I said to him, you know, this song has been a blessing to me. I was in the hymnal yeah. singing the song and he said, do the song. I'm like, how am I going to do the song? It's a well-known song. And he said, no, do the song. And then while singing it, I just heard in my spirit, hide me, hide me, hide me in thee. And I said, Lord, that's what I want you to do. I want you to just, you know, cover me with your hands that the enemy cannot find me inside of you. I just want to be so wrapped up in you. So Rock of Ages is a powerful song. It's a powerful hymnal. And I know that, you know, it will bless the lives of many listeners because they have already known the song. Talk to us about the other songs on the album. The other songs. Well, you have God's Not Done With Me Yet. That's a Midnight Experience song. That song was written when I was going through one of the roughest period of my life. And I was at the point of giving up. And I heard the Lord said, I'm not done with you yet. No matter what you're going through, I'm still working on you. This process is going to end. It's going to stop. And, you know, that's one of the songs that has really kept me, has really, you know, allowed me to say, okay, Lord, I'm going to continue doing your work. I'm going to continue to look up to you because I know that you will take me through this. We have last days which speaks about, you know, the end time. God is coming back. He's coming back for holy people, you know, a people without spot. And it's just a reminder for us as Christians to know what. Look up your redemption, draw it nigh. You have Can't Steal My Destiny, a song that I really love. It speaks about, you know, our destiny being wrapped up in God and knowing that, you know, sometimes we have problems with our teachers, with our boss, with our parents. And because they have this authority over us, they think they can control us. But this song reminds us that, you know what, our destiny belongs to God. No one can touch it. No one can steal it. No one can change it. It belongs to God. God says, I predestinated you before the earth and I know your beginning and your ending. So it's just a reminder to say, listen, no matter what you're going through, God controls your life he controls your tomorrow he controls your destiny so where will the album launch be held on the 26th the album launch will be held the 26th of july at church on the rock i just want you to come just get ready for the presence of god what i'm praying about right now is that god's shekinah glory will just cover the building cover the house cover the people it will be a launch with a difference that's what i'm praying for i'm not saying it's gonna be i'm praying that you know when people come sick will be healed the blind will see deaf will hear people in the in the wheelchair will come out people with cancer will flee you know that's what my prayer is to the lord is that it will be a night of his shekinah glory his presence i just want to see him come down in the building and i know he will because he's a god that you know says that if we ask anything concerning his will it shall be done so Karen, tell our listeners how can they get in contact with you by email facebook twitter website everything well you can contact me at KarenEnis.com or you can find me at Facebook at Karen.Ennis or you can send me an email at KarenEnis at Hotmail.com Tell us the names of some of the artists that are going to be ministering on the night of the album launch. Well, on that night you will have Andrea Hines, a very beautiful singer. She has been in the music industry for years. She has always been on the back line as a background vocalist. But I have seen her, you know, growing in the Lord. I have heard her, you know, I, I, I just see God on her. And she will be ministering along with Ryan Berry. Now, this young man I have worked with in Passion and Purity, which is a conference for young people. And every time this young man ministers, you know, I have to switch gear because the anointing on his life is so powerful that sometimes he just messes up. 
everything I'm supposed to do. So, you know, having him on the launch is just a blessing. And then we have Perpetual Praise, a group I have been in, have been a part of for seven years. And, you know, everybody know Perpetual Praise because, you know, Nadine Blair and the whole team. So they will be starting and just giving God some praise and, just, you know, bringing down, you know, the glory of God in the house. And then we have Jermaine Edwards. Now, Jermaine Edwards means a lot to me because he is, you know, one of the co-producers of this album along with Dwayne Wyatt Campbell. Jermaine Edwards is a worshiper. You know, he is a, he is a person who just loves the Lord. He's a man of God who I really look up to in the music industry. And I know that God is going to use him mightily that night. And... You know, we have Nadine Blair as the MC, right, Raquel Nadine. Jones from TVJ right. as the MC. So I'm just looking forward to what God is about to do. Right, and tell us about some of the persons who worked with you along with this album. I know you want to say thanks to them. Well, first, I must thank God for his mercy and his grace. It could not have been done without him, you know. Uh, I remember times when I would say, Lord, I don't know how this album is going to finish. I don't know where the money is going to come from. Mm -hmm. But, you know, out of nowhere, he did it. I have to say thanks to my husband, my major support, you know, mm -hmm. behind Behind me, you know, saying, Kiran, you know, you need to finish God's work, you need to do this. So, you know, I give God thanks for him, my parents, you know, who has been, you know, a support system to me. My family, my in-laws, you know, they are just a blessing to me. And I have to give God thanks for Jermaine, as I said, mm -hmm. Dwayne Wire Campbell, Danny Brownie, um, Rhoda, and Alicia, and, you know, everybody who everybody. just came on board and just say you know what i'm just gonna bless you and just help you to just fulfill this mandate that god has given to right. you just before we go sing a line of our song for us before we go you can't steal my joy you can't steal my peace you can't steal my destiny no way no way you can't steal my joy you can't steal my peace you can't steal my destiny remember that Indeed. So once again, the album launches on the 26th and the time is? 7 p.m. The doors will be open at 6 p.m. So if you want to come, you know, relax, get your seat because right. we can hold only 1,000 300 and i'm expecting an a overflow house, right, a packed house. yes man because the church by itself is already right. full so to accommodate the public we would love for you to come six o'clock you know you know you'll be cool right. you fill know in the, the atmosphere fill up the seats right. and just get ready to just bask in his glory so once again folks it's karen ennis's new album her album launch on the 26th i'm alive the worship experience and let me just put it in. It's free of cost. Indeed. So you don't have no excuse to say, oh, I don't have any money. It's free of cost. And the album is just $500. Right. So I have tried to make it as affordable as I can right. so that you can just come, grab your copy, and be blessed. Thank you so very much, Karen Ennis, for passing through today. Thank you so much for having me. Blessings. And that's it today, friends, for the interview segment today. Join us again next week when once again we pause for another in the series. This is TBC Radio 88.5, your breath of change. Good afternoon. Blessings, folks. Come down with me, yeah.